Hello everybody, so today we're going to take a look at this scene and some lumen settings. So the first thing is to verify when we have noise in this scene, how could we fix that? So for global illumination I'm using lumen, reflection lumen, I'm not using hardware ray tracing, I'm using virtual shadow maps, detail tracing for software ray tracing mode. The first thing for the noise is global illumination is the engine scalability. If we put this too high, as we see everything, everything is dark, more, much darker. And we have all these flickering and noise going around. So there are two things to make this better. Global illumination has to be to epic, set to epic. The other thing is final gather quality. We take this off, as we see, there's still some noise here. We could clean this even if we put the scalability, global illumination set to cinematic. But as you see from 95 frames, we go to 53. So let's put it back to epic. And then we put final gather quality in post process volume around a value around 5 is good. And we're still targeting 85. So this scene is using physical based lighting. So we're using the sun and sky. If you go in directional light, we have 111,000 lux as the brightest sunlight. And then for the skylight, we have intensity to 1. And if we go to post process, in exposure, we have EV minimum max set to 15. But the greatest feature in uh, Lumen 5.2.1 is local exposure. So this is how your scene will look without local exposure. This is off. So shadow contrast scale 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Detail strain 1.1. Middle gray bias 2.89 is okay. So let's do some gameplay. We're always hitting 75 FPS. There's no noise, everything is cleaned. Okay, so another feature, important feature is if you see dark areas, It could be the anti-aliasing set to a lower resolution than cinematic. Let's put it too high for now. As you see, we'll have these glitches here. Even here. So if you encounter that, just put anti-aliasing to cinematic. You could put it to epic, but you'll still have some some weird shadows. So the best is to put it at cinematic. Okay, now let's try, instead of using Lumen, let's try to use Unreal Engine Dynamic Solution. We will not have global illumination, so we need to figure out a way to push some light information inside the interior. So in post-process, Global illumination, we're going to put none. Reflection, none. Okay, then we go into sun and sky. Skylight, 0 Okay, then I'm gonna go to my light. 
make these visible and turn them on okay this could be a solution if we do not want to use lumen so now we're using only dynamic dynamic rectangular lights I put on each window a rectangular light to push more information inside and what we could do here is none of them is casting shadow then I put also a point light here get some rims on the light on the bed and a reflection pole reflection let's build reflection and here we go okay let's let select the lighting here and let's just make it let's make the temperature maybe something around 6000 make it a little bit warmer okay that sounds good so here as we see if we put cinematic high medium low global illumination is off so we don't have no more global illumination see shadows from cinematic and what we're going to do is let's pull down some local exposure like this okay let's see how the scene is without these lights seeing game how many FPS we could have seventy FPS and none of these lights are casting shadows seventy five Another great feature if you're using dynamic dynamic solution is that we now have we now have ambient occlusion so if we go to buffer visualization ambient occlusion here it is let's go in post process just tune it down a little bit watching hope these tips and tricks help you a lot